Everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cats are great. They're super independent. And they really let you have, like, tons of, like, alone time and personal space. Um... I'd never had a cat before, but getting Petunia made me realize that everything I thought I knew about cats was wrong. Independent? Not Petunia. Needs her personal space? Definitely not her. Picky about people? Nope. She likes everyone. And discovering all this was just the beginning of me figuring out how to be a cat mom. I'm Grace. I'm a first time cat mom. And this is Petunia. And I have so many questions about being a cat mom. I've always been a dog person, but my boyfriend and I had recently moved in together to an apartment that's a third floor walk up. So we decided to get a kitten. Deciding to care for another little being is kind of a big deal. And I was terrified I would be the worst at it and have no idea what to do. We need to call upon the cat community on TikTok because almost everything I know, I know from them. TikTok gave me all the answers. If your space allows, first things first is to keep your kitten in a small space for like the first week. Really large spaces can overwhelm them. We have a half bath and we just brought her bed, her litter box, her food bowls, her toys, like everything in there. She did not see the outside of the bathroom for the first week. But Slowly, she started to explore the rest of our apartment. Hey. And I was immediately surprised by how clingy she was. She was meowing on the counter and asked if she wanted to jump up on daddy. Because she did. Are you just hanging on daddy's back, Mayton? I work from home, so that took some getting used to. <laughs> and then she started to do this thing where she'd constantly just be creepy and try to scare yeah. us. Can anyone explain why my cat is obsessed with scaring oh. me? <laughs> She will stalk me, look me straight in the eyes and sneak up on me, or she'll hide behind a corner and jump out. The cat parents of the internet have all been commenting that it just means that she thinks that I'm her person and I'm her mother because that's like a behavior that cats do as they play with their moms like that. My heart. Once I learned that, I started playing hide and seek with her, which she loves and it's <laughs> the cutest thing. We also discovered that she loves fetch. So then we felt like maybe we did get a dog after all. Okay, so before I got a cat, one of the things that everyone told me was that cats are so great because you can leave them alone. In theory, I was like, oh cool, that's great. You guys are leaving your cats alone? We brought a little guest in the cat pack. Every time she's alone for more than a few hours, I start panicking and worrying that she's lonely. Okay, so we can't leave her alone. We fully treat her like a baby. <laughs> Chillin'. Yeah, you seem very tie tie and a little bit lazy. Question, why did I think getting a cat was gonna be low maintenance? She's actually like taking over our lives. What do you do? Petunia is sleeping, which means this just came off of Petunia. <laughs> I mean, like this is like a small animal. Okay, so apparently they need wet food to get hydration. And elevated bowls help with digestion. I need help with the litter box smell. The amount of people in my comments that think that I just don't scoop the poop. I'm scooping the poop. I scoop the poop. I'm worried we're turning into weird cat people and there's no turning back. <laughs> but then we just sort of leaned into it. So I'm now a year into being a cat mom and I'm feeling so emotional about it. I really wasn't prepared for how much we'd love her. Like my entire camera roll is Petunia. Having her has become my entire personality and I'm more than okay with that. My biggest takeaway, and I never thought I'd say this, everyone should give cats a chance.
Uh oh, no, no, no. No, no, no.